less than critical in the vertical circular motion concepts we observed previously now less than critical what is the situation we observe critical means the minimum values to have vertical circle if the body is projected in such a way that the velocity is less than critical means suppose here the first the object is located at this point suspended from here so what happened now we projected the body at the bottom velocity is v and it rises to some height and coming to rest rises to some height and comes to rest here so now it is rising from ground level to a height h and coming to rest it is not able to make a circle actually what happen if the velocity is critical or greater than critical it will make circle like that but now the formation of circle not possible because so what happen we are projecting the body with less than critical less than critical that means less than the minimum value to have vertical circle so it rises to some height and come to rest so it uh, this is the point from where we suspended this is at the bottom position this is the bottom position and from here it rises to this point and its velocity became zero velocity became zero so the final velocity is zero after traveling to a height h the length of this one is taken as l length is taken as l so it rises to height h and is coming to rest so now what is the velocity what is the velocity and what is the tension we have to find velocity of projection and tension at that height h how to get the relation let us observe here now this is the basic information they have given and one thing is clear that from law of conservation of energy this is the highest point highest point highest point we can rise it is highest point it is rising so from that this is the bottom position and highest position two positions we have total energy total energy at the bottom must be is equal to total energy at the highest position at the highest position so if you compare this one what is potential energy at bottom means potential energy at bottom means we can take zero what is kinetic energy at bottom means i can write of mv square and potential energy at a height h from the surface is mgh and kinetic energy is zero so from here i can write v is equal to square root of 2gh so what is the velocity which which the body has to be projected up means i can write velocity is equal to i can write root over 2gh okay h is fine v equal to root 2gh because rise to height h the velocity what has to acquire is root 2gh we are happy but how to write in terms of the angle theta and l i want to write in the velocity in terms of the theta and length l for that purpose observe carefully here so this is the formula what we have here so this is height h what we noticed and the length here is l now it rises to the side h means this height also will be now from here to here we can take l minus h this angle is theta and this is l so from this information what should i write what is cos theta this is one right angle triangle you can observe here what is cos theta means adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent by hypotenuse l minus h by l so from here l cos theta is equal to l minus h and h value we can write it as l into 1 minus cos theta we'll be using this formula so many times in the chapter laws of motion it is there in this work energy power chapter we have system of particles and rotational mechanics we have again in second year terms also so many chapters we are using this formula so better to understand and analyze this one now itself so it is rise to a height h from this position means what happened here from this initial position it rises to a height h so now so we got the formula h equal to l into 1 minus cos theta so from this information now already we know that v is equal to root 2gh we discussed in my last page you can observe v is equal to root 2gh so now in the place of h 
we got here l into 1 minus cos theta so i am just substituting that one as h is equal to l into 1 minus cos theta so by substituting that one i can write v equal to root over 2gl into 1 minus cos theta velocity at bottom is root over 2gl into 1 minus cos theta this is the formula i got now what is the tension they are asking tension so i hope you are clear with the velocity formula velocity formula in terms of l and this one so remember cos theta is l minus h by l and l is equal, h equal to l into 1 minus cos theta these three points to be noted now here it rises to some height and came to rest we told it rises to some height and came to rest we told so weight will be always acting downward no doubt it is making an angle theta here so now if you observe if you resolve into components this is mg cos theta mg cos theta and mg sin theta is the force which makes the body to come to its original position and this is a tangential force so i can write here ft is equal to mg sin theta and the tangential force tangential force tangential force acting to make it to come to its original position is mg sin theta is a restoring force we can also call restoring force so ft is so i can write mass into acceleration so from these two expressions that is ft is mat and ft is mg sin theta i can write mat is equal to mg sin theta and here i can cancel m and m and i can write tangential acceleration as g sin theta this is called tangential acceleration so i got tangential acceleration formula here tangential acceleration i hope you are clear with what is tangential acceleration and what is tangential force the force which makes the responsible for the body to regain to its original position to come back to its original position so the force which is acting tangent here and making the body to come back is a tangential force the acceleration because of this force is called tangential acceleration g sin theta but actually our target is to find tension tension in the string at the extreme position at the extreme position extreme position means here velocity is equal to zero so there is no velocity at that highest point so what i can write so simply i can write tension at that position t is equal to from here you can observe mg cos theta t is equal to mg cos theta so like that i can write here tension at the position where velocity becomes zero means there t is equal to mg cos theta and this is about tangential acceleration tangential force all these things i hope you are clear so here we explain when it is less than 90 that is a less than critical less than critical situation body rises to some height body rises to some height from the starting position where the velocity projected is less than critical value means it rises to some height and coming to rest from here it is rising like that and at that instant it came to rest because the projected velocity is less than critical value that is here bottom value is less than root pi gl less than root pi gl velocity at bottom is less than root pi gl then it rises to certain height and comes to rest so in this regard we found the values of velocity and again what is this tangential we discussed now let us see some applications here suppose here what happened means we are taking one gun and we are firing from here one bullet is coming out and we fired one bullet comes out with a speed u and mass of the bullet is small m so now this bullet first what happened means here one block is there the bullet is coming and striking the block block mass is m initially the block is at rest initially block is at rest 
Now, when block this bullet of mass, small m is coming and penetrating inside, and it penetrates inside, and now the total system is moving up. Total system is moving up. So now the total system is moving up. The bullet left inside that block, and the total system is moving from this position to here. So here, now what happened means they are asking what is the velocity of bullet. It has to travel. Like that means what is the velocity at bottom? So velocity at bottom is v. So it rises to a height of h. From here to here, the height it rises is h. The length is l, and the angle it makes here is theta. So from here, clearly I can write. Clearly I can write h is equal to l into one minus cos theta. H is equal to l into one minus cos theta. So here the height it rises is l into one minus cos theta. How you got this one, sir? Just in previous page we discussed this one about h equal to l into one minus cos theta, and we also discussed about velocity here. Velocity is root over two g l into one minus cos theta. So the bottom velocity must be v is equal to how much means? Root over 2 g l into 1 minus cos theta. Now it rises to certain height and coming to rest, v dash equal to zero. So this is the situation we can write v equal to square root of root over 2 g l into 1 minus cos theta. Here we have to apply the concept law of conservation of linear momentum. Law of conservation of linear momentum. Linear momentum. Total momentum before collision and after collision must be same. Before collision means what is the momentum? Bullet mass m, bullet velocity u. And before collision, the block is at rest m into zero. After collision, both combines, both combines, and they are moving at initial velocity v. They combine at initial velocity. It is with a, it travels. Is v. So here now we want velocity of bullet. Our target is velocity of bullet. So I can write u is equal to now small m by capital M into by small m into capital V. Just now we observe the value of v also. So u is equal to small m plus capital M by small m into v value is root over 2 g l into 1 minus cos theta. So this is the velocity of bullet when it rises to certain height and comes to rest. This is the application. So initially this is the position. It rises to a height h and coming to rest means velocity of bullet value is small m plus capital M by small m into root over 2 g l into 1 minus cos theta. Here what I applied law of conservation of linear momentum. So momentum before momentum before means m into u. And here, before it was rest, so capital M only capital M the block is at rest, capital M into zero. So after collision and embedded inside, then both are stick together and move. So small m plus capital M into v. This v is nothing but the velocity which they are rising to height h means we can also write h as l into one minus cos theta. Actually, v is root two g h. In the place of h, we substituted l into one minus cos theta. And this is the velocity of the bullet formula in this regard. I hope it is clear. So now, same situation, same situation. So now, here what happened means again we are taking the pendulum that is also hanging with the bob like that. Everything is same. Now, when the gun is fired, a bullet is coming and hitting and penetrate inside, penetrate inside. So bullet mass small m. And velocity is u. It penetrates inside me, small m plus capital M. And initially, it acquired velocity v. And they are telling that with velocity this one, it is making one vertical circle. It is making one vertical circle. And the this is a situation of critical. So, what is the minimum velocity at bottom to have the vertical circle? Means suppose its radius is r, root pi g r. Root phi g r is the velocity critical condition. Velocity at bottom is root phi g r. Again, applying here also law of conservation of linear momentum. 
law of conservation of linear momentum is m into u initially this block this block is at rest initially this block is at rest so it is at rest means capital m is the block mass into zero bullet mass small m bullet velocity u now the embedded inside embedded inside means small m into capital m and initially the velocity with which they starts moving from bottom position is v so to have a vertical circle we know the bottom velocity minimum velocity at bottom to have a vertical circle means we can write it as root pi g r root pi g r it is a critical value it is a critical value root pi g r so u is called velocity of bullet u is called velocity of bullet i hope this is clear i hope this is clear about this topic and everything here about law of conservation of linear momentum law of conservation of linear momentum m into u is equal a plus m into 0 equal to small m plus capital m into v v value is root pi g r from here u is velocity of bullet which it is coming out from the gun that value we calculated this is one situation i hope you are clear with the it is making vertical circle mean this is a situation suppose suppose they told that now see this observation beta the bullet is coming here and the bullet strikes this block this block and rises to only height h Sir, already you told no, sir. It rises to only height h and everything over no, sir. Yes, over. But here one special additional thing that the bullet is coming out. The bullet is going out here. The bullet is going out with a velocity v, small v. And these are this block is rising with a velocity v to a height h. Here you have to understand that. Here bullet is not embedded inside. Bullet here is coming out. Here only capital M, capital M. Bullet is coming out here. Bullet is running out here. Bullet is running out here. So now bullet came out from that block. So what will happen again? Law of conservation of linear momentum. Law of conservation of linear momentum means total momentum before collision and after collision must remain same. Before collision, what is the situation? bullet m into r block m into zero now after colliding it doesn't stick inside the bullet is not is sent inside the bullet is coming out from there it is not inside so now bullet is coming with a speed what is at speed m into small v and the only the block is rising to a height h so capital m into v capital m into v now here what is the initial velocity of bullet means here u is equal to small mv plus capital mv by small m and here in this formula again as usual v we can write it as capital v is nothing but velocity of block that i can write it as here the length is l and height rises h means h and also as usual i can write h equal to l into 1 minus cos theta from this expression the velocity of block we can also write it as root over 2 gl into 1 minus cos theta i hope it is clear about this application here what happened the bullet came out from the block the bullet came out from the block and it does not penetrate that means it penetrated inside and came out from the block and in previous cases it sticks inside and it is happened in that way i hope it is clear better now about uh, the less than critical condition and its applications as well as one critical application also we observed and bullet velocity we calculated in different situations